and good Monday evening to you. It is Weather for Weather Geeks here on the 11th, 11th day of uh, July 2022. What a beautiful weekend we had and a good-looking day today, although it was a bit on the toasty side out there this afternoon. That is for sure. It's the uh, second straight warm, even hot Monday we've had. 88 was the official number at the airport today after starting at a relatively comfortable 56 this morning, the uh, temperature rose quickly. The dew points started to come up today. And as I mentioned, this is the second straight hot July Monday we've had. 89 was the mark last Monday on the 4th. Uh, we've had a few cooler than average days, but just barely so far here in July. The biggest departure from average was last Wednesday with a high of 79. That 82 and 83 at or just a hair below average Friday and into Saturday. Otherwise, each afternoon has been warmer than average so far in July. And when you factor in highs and lows, the uh, number right now uh, is 1.3 degrees warmer than the average for the first 11 days of the month. It was not hot weather, but rain that was the issue on this date in weather history back in 19... 76, 3.68 inches worth of rain recorded at the Youngstown Warren Airport. That puts it in the top 10 list for wettest days on record here. In fact, number nine on today's date back in 1976. The wettest day on record, a more recent record back in July of 03. We had 4.65 and well, just a couple of years ago or a handful of years ago in, in October. Very, very unusual. We had 3.99 inches worth of rain. A couple of October dates on here, and including this real weird one on uh, Christmas Eve. That's a, That one really stands out. But otherwise, yeah, the majority of these dates on this list are from the summer season. But a couple of kind of oddballs in there, that is for sure. Compared to 24 hours ago, the uh, dew points have come up locally. The numbers are even larger off to our west. Five degrees, the uh, dew point difference compared to the 7 o'clock hour on Sunday here locally. But plus 12 in Detroit, plus 17 in Grand Rapids. The air will continue to moisten up overnight tonight, and uh, that will make it so temperatures won't drop below 70 in most places overnight. The radar is not particularly impressive this evening, but a disturbance is heading through the Great Lakes, and uh, this is producing some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity out towards Wisconsin and northern Michigan. We might get grazed by a shower here later on tonight. How about this? A quick detour to the tropics, not in the Atlantic, but in the Pacific. We have a major Category 4 hurricane. This is Darby. Now, this is kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Um, Mexico over here. Hawaii is way over here. Again, this is just kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but a major hurricane, Category 4, with uh, winds of 140 higher gusts, pressure down to 954 millibars. Darby will continue pushing out to the west over the next few days, and it looks like you know this will try to maintain major, ca uh, major hurricane status for a while, but then it'll start running into some wind shear and some somewhat cooler waters as it uh, very slowly or gradually approaches Hawaii. I don't think this will be a problem for Hawaii. This will probably weaken well before it makes any uh, contact with any of the Hawaiian islands, but still pretty impressive stuff for mid-July out in the Pacific. Back here at home, again, this isn't going to be much, but a shower might occur in some spots late tonight. I can't rule out a rumble of thunder at about 4 or 5 in the morning for early morning risers. A couple of raindrops may be around, but then all systems go for a nice day tomorrow, and after the dew points come up, Tonight, they're going to drop tomorrow afternoon out of the 60s and back into the 50s. Delightful afternoon. Next weather maker comes our way Wednesday. This is a somewhat stronger weather disturbance. And with this coming through at a more favorable time of the day, the odds are somewhat higher that we get to a shower or even a thunderstorm Wednesday afternoon. But even this will be very hit or miss. A lot of us are going to be in the miss category. Some of us may get a downpour for a little while. If you have plans to hit up the Trumbull County Fair Wednesday afternoon, that is the forecast, a chance of a shower or a storm, but uh, some dry time as well. And speaking of dry time, we're back to sunshine and beautiful weather for Thursday and for Friday. Tomorrow's severe weather risk locally is pretty much non-existent, but not far to our east. A couple of hours to our east, State College, Altoona, Williamsport, out towards Harrisburg, Scranton, PA, kind of the central and eastern parts of uh, the Keystone State may have a couple of gusty storms to contend with. Uh, pretty much a very small severe weather risk here Wednesday with that next front. And then again, it's beautiful Thursday and Friday. Look at the dew points coming down. Great summer weather coming our way. And while this may be a little bit optimistic on this run of the model, with this kind of low dew point uh, number that it's spitting out both Friday and especially into Saturday, uh, still the dew points are going to be kind of a non-story. Uh, the uh, Luke Bryan concert in downtown Youngstown on Saturday should be delightful weather for that. It's going to be a warm afternoon. It'll get well up into the 80s, but the air mass will be dry 
Now, the air mass will start to moisten up at the end of the weekend, and especially into early next week, and this will probably lead to, uh, finally, some somewhat higher chances of wet weather. Starting Sunday, but especially into Sunday night and into Monday. Of course, no secret that we need some rain. Plenty of things going on outdoors, including the fair, the concert, things like that at this time of the year, but outside of those activities, and maybe your golf game or things like that, yeah, some rain would be a welcome sight at this point. We'll get an update on the uh, drought monitor coming up on Thursday. Thanks for watching this Monday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. I'll see you right back here on Tuesday.